To start the engine, turn the key switch to run position and crank position. Press and hold both the menu and enter button at the same time to access the menu system. Use the menu button to cycle through the menu options for which the operator does not need a password to access. In this video, the first menu option is Active Engine Fault Codes. In order to view the Active Engine Fault Codes, press the up arrow button. In this example, however, there are no active fault codes present, so the module displays end of list. To return to the menu options, press the menu button. Keep pressing the menu button to view all of the different menu options, such as stored engine fault codes and operation event log. At each menu option, you will be able to access more detailed information by pressing the up arrow button. In the operation event log, you are able to view the engine's most recent events. In this video, you first see that a manual start occurred at 60 and a half hours. By pressing the up arrow button again, you can see that there was also an alarm event at 60 and a half hours. If you keep pressing the up arrow button, you will continuously cycle through all of the operation event log details. Press the menu button to return to the menu options. Press the menu button to view the alarms event log. Once there, press the up arrow button to view the alarms event log information in further detail. In this video, the display first shows that a low oil pressure alarm occurred at 60 and a half hours. Press the up arrow button to view the next alarm event, which in this case is identified by the SPN FMI code 105.03. This code tells you that the intake manifold air temperature is high. Press the up arrow button again to view the next alarm event. If a star symbol appears, it indicates that you have reached the end of the list. Press the menu button to return to the menu options. Press the menu button to view the engine parameters. Once there, press the up arrow button to view the engine parameter information in further detail. You will first view the engine hours. Then press the up arrow button to view the requested torque speed. This is the value that the Controls Incorporated module is sending via torque speed control to the engine ECU. Press the up arrow button to view the engine percent load at current speed. Continue to press the up arrow button to cycle through the other engine parameter information, which is available to you from the engine ECU. As you can see, you may have to wait a moment for the engine ECU to relay the information. Press the menu button to leave the engine parameter options and return to the menu options. Press the menu button to view the engine identification information. Once there, press the up arrow button to view the engine identification information in further detail. In this video, you are first able to view the engine model number. Then press the up arrow button to view the engine serial number. As you can see, you may have to wait a moment for the engine ECU to relay the information. Press the menu button to leave the engine identification options and return to the menu options. Press the menu button to view the Controls Incorporated module information. Once there, press the up arrow button to view the Controls Incorporated module information in further detail. You are first able to view the Controls Incorporated module part number and firmware. Keep pressing the up arrow button to view more Controls Incorporated module information. Press the menu button to leave the module information options and return to the menu options. Press the menu button to view the controller setup options. Press the menu button. Once you have cycled through all of the menu options, the display module will read, press menu and enter to exit, informing you to leave the menu system and return to the normal engine operating display. To do so, press and hold both the menu and enter button at the same time. To turn the engine off, turn the key switch to off position.